He's Holy the shit. best. He's the best. Inside that dude's head and camped out, plants a flag, shit all over the place. I mean, that guy was dealing with some serious psychological warfare at a level that I don't think he had ever experienced before. It's like he took Muhammad Ali and Chael Sonnen and he rolled it up in this crazy Celtic warrior character and just, and I mean, just, and he's good. That's the thing. He's not just a trash talker, he's fucking dangerous. You it's, know? A, it's a once in a lifetime personality. Yeah. And he pulls it off. Consistently, he's always on his game. Well, the fact that he was willing to bet Dana and Lorenzo $3 million that he would knock Mendez out in the second round, and he knocked Mendez out in the second round. I mean, he's a fucking freak. He really is. He's a freak. I wonder if it, if it comes naturally or he sits sits around at night plotting these things out. I don't know. He's so damn good at it. Well, he was always a very good fighter. I was a big fan of his when he was competing in Europe. And, uh, you know, he was fighting in the U.K. And quite a few, and actually, uh, I tweeted him way back in the day before he ever came to the UFC saying that I, I enjoy his fights and I hope he gets over here. And then, boy, did he get over here. In December, when he fights Aldo, Jesus Christ, that's going to be crazy. If Aldo makes it to it without getting injured, and he makes it to it without getting injured, which is a big problem with this sport. 